Hello everyone, welcome to We Love Soaps TV. I'm Roger Newcomb, I'm here with Aaron Cummings. Welcome, you know, from Spartacus, Detroit 187, Pan Am, and Made in Jersey. And fans, Bold and the Beautiful. I did like one episode. And, and Passions, weren't you like a... <laughs> oh my God, I was on Passions. I forgot about that. I, that was one of my first, one of the, one of my first jobs. I had, um, uh, um, prostitute number one on Star Trek Enterprise and Roadhouse Woman number two <laughs> on Passions. Those were my two credits on IMDb. For and people are still talking about it. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> that was That's a great. fun one, though. No, Erin's done a lot. Like, if you look at her IMDb, you have to scroll down a lot because it's so long and you've done so many things. And a lot of them are serialized. We cover everything serialized. And what a lot that? of these shows are serialized. And I was hoping Pan Am would, would last longer. But uh, Made, Made in New Jersey was probably the most recent TV um, thing. Well, actually, what I have coming out right now is I did a guest star on Unforgettable. So for the fans of Unforgettable, the show is coming back for a second season. And I play a doppelganger to Carrie, <laughs> Poppy Montgomery's character. Um, but I'm sort of the mean, vicious, bad version of of her. So I have that coming out. I just did an episode of Inside Amy Schumer and um, I've done a couple movies this year. And But yeah, Made in Jersey was my last series. I loved Pan Am as well, but you know, for my part, once you put your head through a window, you're probably not going to get invited back. Well, my character did that, not well, the actress. You haven't watched, you have to watch more daytime shows because you would definitely come back. If that That's very true. That's very true. I was hoping that they would pull one of those. So let's talk about Harbor. You, you play the ne'er-do-well mother. Like when you walked in, I was like, wait, that's the ne'er-do-well mother? Well, we will eventually have uh, cast photos where we are in character, but I figure at least if I, at least I'd like people to know that I don't always look like a complete hot mess train wreck. <laughs> so I figured I'd represent Aaron today as a member of the cast, and then when we have our actual photos, it's all going downhill, I promise. So were you in this production at Westport, or this is new? No, this is new. I actually only got brought on about a week before we started rehearsals. Mm -hmm. I was sent the script, and uh, I, I read the script that night. I flew through it, and I immediately emailed my representatives, and I said, anything you can do to help this happen. I loved the script. I thought it was so funny and moving and the character of Donna, she's just, she's one of those women that has every emotion and she goes through all of them in a two hour period. Uh, it's a tour de force role that any actress would feel honored and lucky to be able to play and for this to be my New York stage debut, it, I, I'm just, I'm sort of in awe every day. And of course, being able to work with Mark Lamos, who's such a celebrated director, you know, Chad Begelin's words, it's my job as an actor is pretty much just not to mess up what he's already created. And, uh, and then of course, they gave us such wonderful people to work with, with Randy and Paul and Alexis. It kind of makes my job easy. Every emotion I'm supposed to have comes naturally because I just look at, Randy or Paul or Alexis and they give it to me. If I'm supposed to cry, it's very easy because Alexis is usually doing something that's breaking my heart. Or Paul is probably doing something that's making me laugh hysterically. Or Randy's doing something that makes me infuri infuriated as the character. <laughs> He's lovely. <laughs> so I know more about your TV and film credits. Like, have you done a lot of stage work outside of New York? Actually, that's my background. That's what, uh, what, what I got, where I got my start. I studied at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. And then I was doing some theater, you know, when I was growing up. But of course, when you grow up in a small town in East Texas, the idea of being an actress is sort of like, okay, well, why don't I sprout wings and a tail as well? <laughs> so I, I just knew that I loved being on stage. I loved the camaraderie, and that was when I was happy. And so when I moved out to LA um, after going to London, I worked with the Santa Susana Repertory Theater Company. I played La Lady M, since we are still in a space <laughs> in that play that we all know, and uh, Gertrude in Hamlet, as well as um, the West Coast, the North American premiere of My Boy Jack, based on the Rudyard Kipling play. So I did quite a bit of stage, and then of course I did all the token LA black box, two people sitting in the audience, and they're both comped because they're your cousins, <laughs> and uh, you're gonna be paid no money. In fact, you're losing money because you can't go to your waiting tables job because you're doing this play. Um, so yes, theater is my background, and I'm. But this is my first time doing it in New York, and it's just. Um, Will there be any nerves? Do you get do you, any nerves on I'm being nervous on stage? right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. I'm oh, sorry. You're uh, very intimidating. Uh, he's not. Um, he's lovely. So. Yes, it will be. It will be. This is how I think of nervousness, though. Um, 
nerves are just your body's way of saying, this is exciting, this is something wonderful, this is happening. And so you can choose to be, to, to let the nerves overtake you, or you can choose to just go, wow, this is pretty special, and I'm going to take that excitement, and I'm going to do my best with it. So when I ever start to get nervous, I just remind myself, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. And then I don't get nervous anymore. So what, you know, last question, what does your family in East Texas think about all your success? And, and Are you kidding? They love it. <laughs> That's my cousin. That's my cousin. That's my girl. That's my cousin. That's my sister. They love it. All right. Have That's they been awesome. to New York? Are they going to come see you? Um, yes, my parents are coming. Um, in fact, my cousins from East Texas were all here. They're my good luck charms. Every time they come and visit me, I get a job. They came and I said, I just read this amazing play and I have to do it. And the next day I got the call. So I said, you guys need to come live in New York so I can work all the time. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.